Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Morgan Evans alongside Brandon and Sikpong. And uh, we are privileged to watch another premier level matchup. This one between the Florida Smash and the Frisco Clean Cause. That means Georgia Johnson, Jesse Irvin, Travis Rettenmeyer, and Colin Johns are going to take on Lena Padigameta, Jana Grechkina, Matt Wright, and Zane Navratil. Brandon, what can we expect, mate? We can expect both teams playing fierce, competitive pickleball. These are uh, really all players that have been having some success in this past year. You've got Matt Wright, who no shortage of medals on his side. Uh, Jesse Irvine, a bunch as well. Uh, then you've got uh, Georgia Johnson, who for a while people were saying up and coming. Well, she's here now. No more of that. She is a star in our game. Uh, also, Lena Patega Maite and Yana Kretschkina, they're going to bring some fire. Uh, so it's going to be an exciting matchup and we can't forget uh, Mr. Zane Navratil, the creator of the spin serve that got outlawed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Did you just say that? <laughs> Alongside Morgan Evans who... Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay, all right. I do apologize to the listeners. My co-pilot here, here just uh, completely misspoke. He was, was like three years after that is, mine. That is true. Uh, I didn't expect you to take the bait there, but you did. Uh, it's an emotional thing. I get it. Listen. Look, it's too soon, all right? It is too soon. It's too soon for me emotionally. I don't sleep at night. They, they <laughs> took my serve away. They took his a year ago. Not only did they take it away, but then they credited it to him when it was there, and I know that hurts. Um, and no, they didn't. <laughs> No, he was always nice about it. He, he developed the, the Zane, the chainsaw. Yeah, of course. That's, uh, that was just the easiest way to do it. But the original and the best was mine. And yeah. now, now it's gone. And uh, I think everyone, if you could just send in $5 to help me get over this travesty. Well, that would just be lovely. Yeah, maybe they'll throw your Venmo on the screen. And yeah, just send oh, that's a direct a good idea. Or something yeah. like that, right? Anyway, we've got a great uh, first game here between Jesse Irvine, Georgia Johnson against Yannick Gretschkina and Lena Bodega Maite. Uh, you've got, I mean, Jesse Irvine is so solid when it comes to playing pickleball, especially on that right side. What can we expect from Florida Smash females here? Yes, no, the smash, well, as you said, the, the consistency uh, of Jesse Irvin, when she's on the right-hand side, and based on how they're warming up here, they uh, will have her on the right. She can stay in those cross-court dink exchanges all day. It's, it's quite phenomenal how efficient her movement is, how stable her paddle stays. Uh, she's just able to outlast so many players. And I think she really enjoys the opportunity to have someone like uh, Jana Greshkina uh, on the right side who loves to really roll and create a lot of arc, a lot of shape on her dinks. You know, moves so well around the court, so agile. Um, she's able to create a lot of uh, a lot of topspin on those cross court dinks. While Jesse Irvin will hold her position, lean in, take a lot of balls out of the air, and look to steal time in those rallies. So I expect to see uh, a lot of forehand to forehand dinking from that side. Uh, Lena Padigameta. I uh, hope I'm doing that name. Padigamaite. Padigamaite. Yeah. It's a tough one. It, it is not. It's not easy. It's not easy. Um, For us, not yeah. her. Lithuanian superstar. Uh, she's going to be... I'm hoping to see some, some good quality drives. She's got so much power. Defensively, very, very good as well. Um, I think Irvin and Johnson might have the edge in the women's. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be tight. Um, Jana Greshkina, I think, for me, probably number two in the most improved female position, and unfortunately, number one is on the court as well. Georgia Johnson last year, for my money, really, it's just excelled in so many areas and went from someone where, well, you're JW's sister, and by the end of last year, it was like, wow, you are on top of the leaders' board, and you are just an absolute wrecking ball out there. The hand speed she's got, how well she reads the play, um, and her, the level of control. I mean, the kind of drilling partner she's got built into her homestead, um, as well as their mother, Georgia Johnson, uh, sorry, Julie Johnson, who's in the crowd alongside uh, brother JW. Hard to go wrong, right? 
Yeah, we'll have a couple kind of a, a game within a game here uh, in this matchup where you talked about it. Yannick Reschkina most likely playing that right side. She's going to have a top spin roll dink. Uh, Jesse Irvin's going to love that because she loves the slicer dink. So it'll be a we'll we'll be able to see who can hold that position the longest. And then on the other side, conversely, with Lena Padega Maite, she's been practicing a back two hand backhand roll dink cross court. Uh, Georgia Johnson has been doing that well for quite some time now. So it would be interesting to see who is able to get the leverage on who. Uh, and as we talked about in so many other matches today, which team is going to be forced to pivot from their strategy and which, which team is going to dictate the pace in this game? Yeah, so far we haven't seen a lot of adaptations. A lot of people have just kind of been stubborn uh, in terms of keeping positions, keeping general tactics, and hoping that they can just tidy up the execution as opposed to switching tactics. Uh, given the rally scoring nature of this game, less people looking to kind of uh, alter their positions with stacks. Um, it's a tougher proposition. So this is going to be very interesting. I, I look forward to this one. And obviously then the men will take the court. Travis Rettenmeyer, who's doing double duty in that he is both team owner and player. So former professional tennis player out of Florida. And he's teaming up with the brother of Ben Johns, Colin Johns, one of the, the best right side players in the game. That will be, I think that's going to be tough because Matt Wright is on the court with Zane Navratil. Uh, not impossible, obviously. Colin Jones is so used to playing with brother Ben, though. How well can he handle someone else? And uh, if he can, if he can cover more court, if he can really start using that two-handed backhand, not just in great defensive capabilities in that transition area, um, but also handling kind of middle responsibilities where so often Ben is doing that. If he can manage that, then they got a good chance. Yeah, and I think Zay Navratil, you know, will answer that question and say, look, man, we, I have actually won two major league pickleball championships with different partners. Um, I've also been on the APP tour and won a ton of gold medals with different partners as well. Um, this is a position that I'm comfortable with and I'm sure as we talked before, these players have gotten a lot of practice with their team. Let's get started with this first matchup. Precision work early from Georgia Johnson. Padega Maite electing to go with the drive on that third shot. Oh, cool as a cucumber. Some great resets by Smash. Jesse Irvin had done such a good job of resetting everything, dropping it delicately, and then the one ball she needed to just follow up and drop again. She took a swipe with the two-handed backhand and that fed into the advantage that Greshkina and Padiga Maita have. There's that two-hand roll. Backhand dink from Padega Maite. Johnson handles it really well. Sticks a forehand in there. Redirects to Gretschkina. Comes out top on top of that point. Great drive by Johnson. Good hustle from Johnson. What a get from Johnson early on. And Gretschkina, there was so much court available. She did more than she needed. And that ball sails wide. Another great reset by Johnson. Good leave. 
One of the uh, one of the skills that Jesse Irvin possesses that is often underrated in the game of pickleball is the art of the leave. She is so very good at registering when things are going to be sailing long, and she communicates loudly, clearly, and early enough for everybody, and uh, even the audience members, to get out of the way. Now, there's no penalty for being too loud on the court. Communicating with your partner is mostly a, always a good thing. Yeah, you don't risk anything by communicating. You risk a lot by not. Great resets by Podega Maite. Look how low she's getting here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jesse Irvin says that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> Time to put the baby to bed. <laughs> it is one of the, the tricky things for tall players, and Podega Maite is certainly one of, if not the tallest. Johnson took a stab at that ball in the transition area. I think Irvine, Irvin wanted that ball to go through so that she can reset that one. <laughs> Great defense. Irvin just comes up a little short on that one after the barrage of backhands from Kretschkina. Getting behind her slightly. I think there was hopefully one opportunity to get in a little earlier. Oh, what a dig from Irvin. Wow. And then she got slippery on the inside out forehand. Look at this. That one there. Ho oh, ho. She thoroughly deserved to win this point. Awesome shot from Irvin there. Fantastic work from Greshkina. Good controlled aggression. Set herself up nicely there for the combo. Irvin had a really good defensive block. Uh, but in the end, Florida Smash not able to handle that. Ooh, big swing from Padega Maite. Yeah, that almost took off Johnson's head. And, uh, well, that's not going to be very good, is it? <laughs> Didn't even catch the hair in the end. She's agile. That ball went over, came back over again, and decided just not enough pace to clear the net. <laughs> I think it had a look on the other side and said, no, nah, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm staying over here where it's uh, nice and cozy. I think that's the strategy for this math ha smash have to stay with, where Johnson took some pace off and puts, added some top spin to that ball. Makes it difficult to reset. Good work. It was uh, quite an early attack from Johnson down the line. Gretschkina had a good play at it, but the defensive prowess of Irvin up to the task. Wow. Oh, great defense again by Florida Smash. Bodega Maite was putting a press on all of those balls that she was crushing, but ultimately Gretschkina a little long on that forehand volley. That's some good sound effects too, I like it. Sure, Jesse Irvin thought that was going to be more than enough to finish the point. Greshkina was there in position, redirected it well. Eight, ten. Nice 
single-handed backhand from Evan. Yeah, she generates so much power off of that paddle. She takes these wide swings where it's really hard to figure out where she's going to connect with the ball and gives herself multiple possibilities. You saw it there where she redirected that cross court to Gretchkina's feet uh, and ended up winning the point. Yeah, she has possibly more than any other female player in the game. Uh, something I, I call last lever or last link power. She is able to kind of really fully extend her arm and still create enough power, especially on the forehand side, with really just wrist and forearm. And that gives her some options um, in terms of getting people to move in directions with the hips and shoulders. Uh, you, we see it on the forehand side a lot from her, we saw it earlier on, where she really rotates her hips and shoulders and then just leaves the paddle behind. Um, and it'll get the same result time and time again. The player in front of her covers the middle, and often with the entire body, but at the very least their paddle starts drifting in the middle, because that's where her hips and shoulders are going, and then she just leaves the paddle behind, lets it slide off. She's been doing that for years on the forehand, but now she's starting to do it on the backhand as well, uh, usually with a lot of power, not so much just precision, but to have that kind of power on the backhand, it's uh, what a weapon. Fresh off of the changeover for Smash with a drive into the net. Makes this a 9-11 game. God, it takes so many high-powered shots down to the feet of Smash to award the point, but they've got it done here. Gretzkina getting big in the middle, and Padega Maite following it up. Great point. doing just enough again and again. She's built a career on just one more ball. Yeah. It's a good spot there by Padega Maite. Johnson was on her way in to hopefully intercept that ball and finish the point, but it was sliding into her body, which made it a challenging ball. Now the, the adrenaline was pumping. She found that one ball that she could come in on and she was not stopping for another reset. It was all or nothing from then on. Ooh, almost. Right now, Gretzkina is ca causing havoc with that two-hand backhand in the middle of the court. Yeah, a little bit of miscommunication there. Johnson with another great topspin roll, which makes it just so challenging to reset those balls in the kitchen. Yeah! Great work from Johnson, moving the ball around with pace. Jesse Irving yells out on two balls that Johnson plays. I think if uh, Johnson played one more out call, then uh, <laughs> we're not going to see Irving again for the weekend. <laughs> no. Irving might actually be out. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So they get the ball back, 13-16. kind of ball that uh, at this level you can ill afford to miss. Yeah, you've had two. You had the drive miss by Irving and then now Gretschkina missing the third. Wow. Erika Maita. That was a great counter by her. Yeah. Very impressive work. And the call was long. And doesn't look like. Those are the ones I think Frisco Clean Cause has to stay away from. Attacking balls that are too low. Johnson hit a yeah. couple out balls early. I don't think that's going to continue. It's certainly easier said than done once you, you get into the heat of the moment and you want to prove you, that your hand speed is better than your opponent's. Great dig by Irvin. Yeah, once Patagomata is has one ball to really get a good handle on, then she's doing a great job of staying in that central position and moving the ball around as Jesse Irvin is moving backwards, making it tougher in that transition area. Gretzkina, a player that loves to drive that third shot drop. I'd like to, I'd like to see her uh, maybe raise it up right now. The margin is just too close in a mm. game like this. Big serve from Johnson. Too big, yeah, apparently. A little, little too big there. They're checking with the referee to see if that ball was in. Checking with their team. Bench says that they want to challenge that call to confirm if it was out. All right, so we will have a a look to see if that ball was indeed out. Yeah, hard to see from our end as we've got a fence barrier right in front. But let's check Ooh. the replay Ooh. here. Okay. I think they might get the call there. Tough to see where it actually bounces. Yeah, but I, I have a feeling if you, if you look at uh, the rebound angle versus the angle of descent, I think it was on the line. Yeah, I may, I may have copied off of your chemistry homework in school, the way that you're describing this. Well, that, that's physics, that's not chemistry. That's, that's why. It's ball fly physics. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> and if you went to the same school, I would have remembered you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I, I don't know if I was in the same school in the 80s. I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. That's true, that's fair. That's the uh, Metallica reference. Okay, yep. Look, enter Sandman. Oh, game changer. Memories remain. One. Oh, forget about it. You see the replay here. Referee's still conferring to see if that ball was in or out. It was called out on the court. So if it's inconclusive, they'll stand with that call. I think they're going to get it personally, but that's just me. I'm not a doctor. And if they do, well, does it, will it be a replay or a point for Florida Smash? Yeah, that would be a point for yeah, it would be a Smash, point. but it yeah, was called sure. out from Clean Cause, which would make this a 20 to mm. 16. It's a pivotal point for a call like this. We have a lot of referees huddled around the screen trying to make a, a good decision while the commentators are starting to freeze to death. Players are staying warm. It does get chilly fast it does get out chilly, here doesn't in it? Arizona. Yeah, it is a desert, yeah. It's, uh, it's deserted, really, of heat at this time of day. This is another one of those matchups where the margin is small. We've got both teams that are playing relatively well, but for clean cause, they've just made a few more errors, which causes them to be down three points here, but they're not out of it. Uh, if this call does go their way, they can hopefully mount uh, a comeback. I'd like to see them do a little volley to volley here, just to uh, stay warm. Let's see what the referees come back with here. Thank you. 
Okay, so it looks like it was not conclusive. So the serve comes back and 16-19. I've lost my uh, degree in ball flight physics. And a good pick up in that a low position from Georgia Johnson. So Jesse Irvin has the serve and a chance to clinch the first game. Oh. Johnson goes for the inside out third shot drop. A little more aggressive than she's mm. been all game. Ends up not converting on that. A good drive towards her as she's approaching. Yeah, two straight errors there by Johnson. Got to be careful. Gina just wanted to keep ripping that ball. And I think in hindsight she knows that needed to be just a reset, drop something in, give yourself a chance to do the damage from closer towards the kitchen line. Great drop by Irvin. Johnson had done so well defending a number of great attacks in the end. A slightly slower one, and you can just see her, her hands just kind of buckling over. Wow, great defense by Clean Cause. Bodega Maite and Gretschkina are starting to feel mm. it now as it's a 19-20 game. Yeah, they've targeted Johnson and it has been working out. Irvin needs to be able to dictate some more of the game. She tried to in the previous point. All right, so they get the ball back, 20-20. A great run by Clean Cause to square this game up at 20. Let's see if Florida Smash can keep things rolling for him. And Lina Patagameta just moving to her left throughout the contact, making that one a trickier volley. Johnson did a great job taking some pace off that ball. Still, they are in the driving seat. Gretzkina had such a good look at it. She's had some success with that play early on. I think that was maybe a little bit too aggressive at this point. It could have reset a ball to slow things down. Yeah! Irvin with the big overhead smash. And that angle just too wide for Gretzkin to get to a 22-20 victory in the first game of this matchup. We may be in for a treat. Yeah, yeah that was a, a fantastic comeback to get as close as they did. But in the end, Smash came away with it. So we'll take a quick break here in the commentary booth while you enjoy the warm-up of Matt Wright and Zane Navratil. They'll be taking on very shortly Travis Rettenmeyer and Colin Johns. So don't go away, just a few minutes before the second match gets underway.
have the one? You have the one? Alright, I want to see the one. Oh, yeah, sorry. Now you have two. We're such nice people. We'll get this figured out. doubles is about to get going. Matt Wright serving to Colin Johns. And a great drive from that is the Zane Navratil, the inventor of the chainsaw. <laughs> Well, there wow. was uh, no hidden intention on that ball there. If that one goes over, that's going straight through Colin Johns and into the commentary booth. Yeah, enough top spin to stay in after it clipped the net. Nice. Yeah, we expect to see Zane Navratil seeing a lot of balls here. And at any cost, I think, keeping the ball away from the Matt Wright forehand. Navratil, he's had some interesting grip change in the last uh, year or so, and that backhand we're seeing there, very different kind of grip. He then switches it, anticipating a forehand, and then back to, and it looks to be a kind of an Eastern backhand grip. Teams probing. Oh, that ball a little too wide, and Navratil with the ATP. Yeah, beautiful two-handed ATP. Rettenmeyer feeling a little bit of pressure. 
It's great anticipation by Navratil to beat that ball to the spot. And the wheels, I mean, he's got, you know, one of, if not the quickest player out there. Just how many micro steps, little adjusting steps he can get around the ball. It's fantastic. Oh, and the net almost helped them again. Matt Wright taking his chances on that speed up, going towards Redmire's left shoulder. Just went a little too wide there. Big drive from Redmire. Just long. I'm not sure if that was an intentional lead or not from Colin Johns, but either way, it uh, floated long. Oh, the drive by Redmire clips the net. He took some pace off of it, and that allowed it to stay in. Four, five. Five, four. Zane Navratil very aggressive off the bounce with that two-handed backhand. They had been going in the direction of John, so Rettenmeyer was not to know that uh, there would be such a cannon heading in his direction. Yeah, back to that Navratil two-hand backhand. If you give him a neutral ball, he's got multiple places he can go with it. and a single-handed backhand to help close the show there from Navratil. Yeah, so far that new Pro XR paddle that Zane Navratil's playing with has given him everything he's looking for here. Yeah! And the hand speed of Matt Wright with the follow-up, yeah. Yeah, there were about four anticipated counters in that point. Matt Wright comes on top of that one. I mean, he sits so backhand ready and knows that he needs to slide to his right to make it basically a guaranteed backhand on the next one. And uh, couple that with the amount of power he's got naturally. It's a very difficult uh, job for Rettenmeyer to be able to get through him. Found it there by going slightly further away towards the middle. And Matt Wright at full stretch trying to control it. Couldn't quite get it. Great reset from Johns. Yeah, he's one of, if not the best in the business. Uh -huh. Another backhand from Rhett Myers. He starts chirping. Yeah. And tells Zane Navratil. A little bit of chat. Gotcha. <laughs> and they're rolling now. They've suddenly taken the lead. Big drive from Redmeyer. Yeah, and I think it's this serve that's really setting him up nicely. He's going for the serve. We have seen very few players really get after it today. Afraid with this uh, rally scoring that they can cost him a point. Travis Redmeyer, not one. Fortune favors the brave for that man. That's something you don't typically see here with John's missing a third shot drop. Great pace and angle from Wright as yeah. Retten, Rettenmeyer looked like he had kind of hopped up into midair, anticipating something down the line. Uh, 
just catches the midsection of Colin Johns and that gives them the switch. 11-10 to Frisco clean cause. It's a great speed up there by Navratil. We talked about it earlier. If you give him a neutral ball, especially a dink on that two-hand backhand side, he's so good at being able to go down the line, across court, or through the middle. And we've seen all three of those so far here. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a kind of a an indicator of someone with just the highest level footwork to be able to get into position time and time again to be able to do so much work off the bounce. And uh, that's something he obviously has in spades, just a, an incredible power to weight ratio. One of the best singles players in the game. So tightly fought contest so far. Wow, we're clinging on to a one point lead for clean cause against Florida Smash right now. Matt Wright, he's missed two third shot drops. That's not like him. And one more ball. Catches net and body of Navratil. It's a great drive from Redmire. The beneficiary of it clipping the net. Yeah, Navratil knows he left that ball up just a little too high. Redmire turning the volume up here as Two great plays by him, and they take a 13-11 lead here. Pivotal point here for both teams. Again, Navratil going for for the body. No, uh, no hiding it. That's how high these players' IQ is right now, because John's actually got caught on that previously, not this time. Yeah, that shot gave Johns just enough time to use his patented giant backswing to uh, really force Navratil to think about the line, whereas the intention was middle. So that's uh, forced a timeout. First time we've seen Johns elect to create some offense from that right-hand side. I think he's sensing that while this game may somewhat be in the balance with this four-point lead, there's an opportunity for them to take control. Um, and it worked out well for them there. Uh, great timeout by Clean Cause. It's time for them to reset, see if they need to pivot strategies here, um, get themselves back into this game. Yeah, there's been a lot of let cords that have, you know, swung the tides both ways. But uh, when you think about the previous 10, 15 points, sometimes you got to remind yourself, look, there was a lot of luck involved in a lot of these, and uh, that could swing around at any moment. The mental portion of the game is huge, especially in this environment. Yeah, and I think the team-based events like this one, they, they add to that so much. I think the, the people who really stick together on the bench and put in, put in the work to kind of keep the morale going, uh, it really pays dividends. Yeah, and we've got an interesting switch here as Matt Wright and Zane Navarro elect to change sides. They have to notify the rep before they do that. Um, this first speed up by Matt Wright did not go well as Redmire saw that. go oh, wide, not by much. wide right there. It's a great defense by Florida Smash. Just couldn't come up with the final one there. So 12, 16. 
he yeah. lets them know about he it. He does let them know. He's excited about that one. He just wanted to make sure somebody saw that. It's a great ball by him. The man can roar. And uh, I think Matt Wright will not waste any opportunities if he gets one. Good eye from Rhett and Meyer. Let that ball go. Yeah, great resets by John early in that point, and Rhett and Meyer saw that ball was on his left shoulder with too much speed. Lands wide. And the referee just called the wrong score there for a moment, so she'll just correct herself. 18-12, Colin John serving to Zane Navratil. Fantastic hands and some good chat now coming from Rhett and Meyer. I think during the changeover, Clean Cause talked about Matt Wright being on the left side and speeding up to Rhett Meyer. It has not worked out thus far. Oh, Colin Johns had a really good look at that. He was set up for a backhand surprise that it was waiting for him on the forehand side. That's a good ball from Matt Wright. Very aggressive movement forward. He's so good at getting plenty of topspin from low positions. Navratil concerned the ball isn't quite uh, where it needs to be. Could be the nearing the end of its life. It is getting pretty chilly out here. Big overheads by Redmire. Yeah! Navratil shows up big when he needs to. Maybe a premature speed up there from Redmire. Feeling pretty good with a comfortable lead. Hopefully it does not cost him here. Ooh. Uh, we've got Matt Wright. Now plenty of chat from him. It always gets fun, doesn't it? Yeah, he's starting to chirp back as they creep their, creep their way back into this game. Yeah, I tell you, when it's high on the Rettenmeyer forehand, their odds are just huge. They close the show with that shot time and time again. This is game point and to take a 2 0 lead. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Uh, great volley there by Wright. I think Colin Johns initially thought that ball would be long. Enough top spin to land in. That's an awesome speed up by. Matt Wright as he went down the line first. Big wind up and pushes it through the middle there. No! Sails long. Redmire with a roar, thinking that that ball was in. Not happy to find out that it just landed out long. And clean cause with a 19 20 game right now. One away, tying this up. Yeah! <laughs> that is big work. Navratil taking a chance with a single handed backhand flick through the middle and uh, just caught Colin Johns drifting off to the right.
And that ball drops in. Wow. Matt Wright thought that point was all but over. Redmire with a great defensive counter and blocks it in at the baseline. Timely, right? They needed that. They really did. Picked his spot beautifully. Johns was fading to his right to ensure a backhand, but Matt Wright found that right hip, made it very difficult. Great work. Zane Navratil with the ball. Let's see if he goes big on the serve. He does. Great defense by Redmire there as he fends off the first Matt Wright attack. Matt Wright, ele Matt Wright elects to do more and ends up hitting the net. That ball's wide. So close. That's not the drive. <laughs> Matt Wright says, not the spot. Redmire says, I know. You're right. <laughs> I agree. Uh, all fun and games here, folks. Oh, I'm surprised Rittenmeyer didn't uh, return fire there. Yeah, right feeling pretty good. Elected to go to the right side and take a chance on that ball. Probably a little too premature. Mm. So easy to want to just sprint through the finish line. Great defense by Matt Wright and Zay Navratil as they caught them out of position and Matt Wright able to finish there. 20, 20. Oh, the net has been brutal this game, hasn't it? So many opportunities to finish it up and again and again the net has got involved. So they'll take a quick timeout. Yeah, Florida smash. Wanting to take an offensive timeout here. We've been at 2020 for quite some time now. They're hoping to break through um, and get a point here. Be interested to see if they pivot strategies as they take some advice right here from Jesse Irvin, who just won their first game um, in the female matchup earlier on. Yeah, they played well. Again, very, very tightly fought. This is a you pick em, I tell ya. Yeah, this is uh, obviously, you know, for scoring purposes, a huge game for Clean Cause as they're down 1-0 in this matchup. Florida Smash would love to have a stronghold on this match right now with this win, heading into a mixed doubles. Yeah, because I think the mix is going to be tough. Matt Wright is uh, one of the best mixed players in the game, uh, as is Zane Navratil, very, very accomplished, especially in the APP. It's a great initial speed up by Navratil. Redmire was there as he slid to his right, and just too much power on that last counter. Yeah, the ball, out. the ball is starting to speed up pretty heavily. It, the uh, temperature's dropping. Yeah! That's a big play from Matt Wright. Clutch. Yeah. Redmire fell a little bit victim to the drug to try to end this game, right, offensively. and. Did not work out. Oh. 
And that ball wow. again, the net. <laughs> Just clean living there from Travis Rettenmeyer. That ball had a ton of spin as it clipped the net, and you've got two missed swings, one from Navato and one from Wright. I don't know if you'll see that again all year. Well, the year's just really started. It's January. Yeah. You want to take the bet? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. It's not yeah. And right speeds up through the middle. Yeah. The counter got through them, and then there was a ball block. Unfortunately, so Florida Smash take a 2-0 lead. I tell you, I didn't see this one coming, but that gives them a very good chance going into the mixed doubles. So the teams will choose their lineup for mixed. The commentators will take a quick break as Brandon gets a jacket. It is starting to really cool down here. And we'll be back shortly with the mixed doubles action here on Grandstand Court. Long, man. Long, man. 
Okay, commentators are in position. Players are basically in position. So it'll be Zane Navratil and Lena Padigameta versus Travis Rettenmeyer and Georgia Johnson. If Rettenmeyer and Johnson can take this one, they've got it. Yeah, they would take a 3-0 lead and end this match. I think Clean Cause may have something to say about it. Early start, 1-0 lead here, Florida Smash. What a counter that is by Redmire. Yeah, that is as sharp as it gets. He's so much authority with that 0-0-2 Selkirk. Yeah, he shakes his head, so it does do not go there again. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Oh, my God. Wow, he's just closing the door with that backhand. The second straight time is he tells the crowd that was so fast. We saw it live. And that ball a little bit long. That was a more measured approach on the backhand drive there. Nothing too venomous about it, just good position. And yeah, sure enough, looks like it floated a little long. Pressed his luck a little bit there, right? His few drives have worked well. Uh, that one just a little bit too long. No need, right? You're on top. Big drive from Navratil. Yeah, that one's not coming back. Yeah, the difficulty really is the kind of shot selection instincts that all the players have is built around side out scoring. And, you know, typically a couple of those, as, as we say, is certainly in the budget. Shout out to my uh, old wingman, Dave Fleming. <laughs> I think he coined that first. Yeah, not a lot of budget in rally scoring, if there even is one. with the yeah. early great defense all around great point. Unbelievable D there, that last second. Georgia Johnson keeping the point alive. And then Rettenmeyer finding the outside of Patagamaita. Big ball am from I getting, am, I getting, am I getting any better with that name? Degamaita. Jägermeister? <laughs> I have to say no to that one. All right, all right. What a get from Navratil. Georgia Johnson called herself in the kitchen there. Got any questions about character? That's been solved right now. High character individual. Yeah, the whole uh, Johnson family just a tribute to the game of pickleball. You don't see that much on the right side for Johnson. Yeah, they've had such a good run. Now just one point the margin. Oh, Degamite with a chance for that Ernie, but Redmire just dropped it in so shallow, made it tough. Single-handed backhand volley from Travis Rettenmeyer might be the best in the game. I, I, I'm trying to think of someone who has such power. I mean, obviously Ben Jones comes to mind. It's it's a wonderful shot, but there's something different about this from Travis. It's heavy. It's low. Oh, 
Oh, what Look defense by Johnson. <laughs> she kept the point alive again and again. Amazing play. As she's falling back, it ends with the yep. tomahawk from Navratil. Big play from Johnson. Thought that was a pretty good speed up by Padega Maite, but there was a two hand backhand waiting from Johnson, and Navratil couldn't reset that ball. Just a little wide there from Navratil as he saw Redmire pouncing in, tried to get the ball away, ran out of real estate. Just one point now before the switch. And that ball was going wide. Yeah. Oh, wow. The hand speed of Zay Navratil there to deal with those balls. There was some confusing stuff, and he made the perfect corrections just in time. And I'm with you. I'm impressed with Red Meyer's hand speed and backhand pop at the kitchen line. Very compact. Again and again. Look what at that. a ball! ATP on the completely other side by Redmire as he tracks this ball. You just to don't see this ever, really. And usually with good reason, but <laughs> this man is feeling it. Yeah, I think he whispered to Georgia, hey, can I finish this for my highlight reel? She agreed. <laughs> Look, the man owns the team, so we'll give him the liberty. <laughs> I like the style of play right now from Florida Smash. Redmire's really keen in on driving that ball down the line to Bodega Maite. And he's not looking for a one-shot winner. What he's really looking to do, as you can see, is to counter that next ball cross court where Zane Navratil cannot uh, react to that or yeah. reset it in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He doesn't own the team alone. I uh, it would be amiss if I didn't mention the others. Molly Joseph uh, alongside Travis. Andrew Olsen, Julio Di Pietro, and Graham D'Amico combine to own the Florida Smash. Clean cause will have to dial it in here as they've got, they're down 11 7 and also down 2 0 in this matchup. Johnson, that two-handed backhand from her, has done a great job of keeping Zay Navratil at bay on the left side. And again, that single-handed backhand from Redenmeyer. And there you see Redmire draws up the same combo that worked in the first half of this game, but Bodega Maite and Navratil fortunate to come out on top of this one. Big ball from Bodega Maite. She was a little over leveraged on the left side. Maybe, maybe, but she got away with it. Able to find her footing, stop, pivot, and crush that next one. Awesome play. a great setup by Padega Maite. Got called for the foot fault here. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah. that uh, left foot stayed on the line just through contact. Unfortunate. Oh, they're using a challenge though. Yeah, let's take a look more closely here. You can see that left foot just Whoa. barely. Yeah, just, yeah, it's not by much. How awesome is that camera work right there? Yeah, okay, okay. well, at that point, so we just have to see at what point did she contact. 
Yeah, let's take a look. You, you've got a good yeah. point here, right? Let's so, see when she actually contacted the ball. In the kitchen so there, not has not she's, contacted. She's in there. Now she's out, and then she contacts. Wow. So, I'm, ooh, this is going to be an interesting one. It's a slide. It's a sliding movement. I think she's out when mm. she contacted yeah. that ball. The other question is, does she touch the net at all? Often when this happens, we uh, we see something else. Uh, it doesn't look like she did, though. No, I think all things look clear. I mean, you freeze frame that, it looks like a textbook mm. Ernie, right? Yeah. Be interesting to see what the referees come up with as from the commentator booth. I think she's clean here. No yeah, pun intended. She's got uh, <laughs> the Frisco clean cause. Oh, we've got a moment here. Team owners Nav Such, Brad Bexworth, Beckworth, excuse me, Tim Berry, Angie Berry, and Wes Hurt. We appreciate them. All the owners combining to make this possible. If you haven't tried a clean energy drink, it is awesome. I routinely will have one or two in the refrigerator. Um, take it with me before practice. Yeah, I'm more of an amino acid kind of guy, and some of them you can get with caffeine. That's what I'm drinking right now to, uh, to stay alert during... Well, some of these long days, it's, it never feels like a long day with you, Brandon, but... Uh, I can't know. imagine you not alert. You're always on point when I see you, you know that? Uh, you don't see me past 9 p.m. <laughs> you don't see me before 7 a.m. <laughs> At least I hope you don't. What do clean cars need to do to get themselves back in this game? They're down three. Yeah, look, they have, in the last three or four points, kind of found a, another gear. And I think they have found something. Um, they need to keep it away from the Rettenmeyer backhand. So whatever it takes to keep the ball closer to the center of the court, uh, I think that, that has a great neutralizing effect on every team. You know, the attacking opportunities from the middle are so much less than they are when players are divided closer to sidelines. All right, so that call has been overturned. They have deemed Padega Maite clear as she did not step in the kitchen. Right now, Clean Cause is talking with the referee to say, hey, look, we won that point after the Ernie. Mm. We should be able to be awarded a point as well. Referee saying they stopped play and are not able to. Are they? <laughs> they're trying to check if they can actually challenge the result of the challenge. That's bad, man. That's yeah, it's a tough mm. one. I think this depends on when the call actually was made. Was it made when the point was over? Yeah. Or did Redmire have a chance to defend that ball? There's a lot you can challenge. I don't believe you can challenge whether or not a player had a play on the ball when a call was made. From my recollection, the call was instantaneous, really. I think what the referee is saying here is that, um, you know, the other referee on the left side stopped play, or at least attempted to stop play as soon as he noticed that uh, the foot fault happened, um, the foot fault that didn't actually happen. And so if that's everything after that point was over with. Hmm. Okay, 9-12, we're back to proceedings. And it looks like the pickleball gods have decided in favor of the clean cause. Yeah, sometimes you see players throw a hand up and say sorry after it hits the net. Bodega Maite's <laughs> like, not right now. <laughs> We're we'll on do, a mission. We'll do sorries later, maybe. So far, it looks like the dust up has affected Florida Smash as they've given up two straight points here. 
big drive from Navratil. Great defense from Padiga Mehta. Wow. That's a great I mean, inside she did her out job overhead. Nicely. Yeah, Padiga right takes all over the place there. And to your point earlier, they got the ball to Red Meyer's backhand, which is a spot they do not want to go to. So Smash still in the lead, but the margin is getting thinner. 13-11 should be the score. It has been a long day for the refs as well. We'll cut them some slack. Johnson finding the right hip of Navratil. Navratil was moving to his left, opened up ready for a backhand. And you see him severely chicken winged. Deceptive little attack there from Navratil, and I love that Patagameta is starting to threaten the Ernie. Yeah, it's putting pressure on Redmire on that left hand side. Johnson again doing great work with her counter punches towards Navratil. Another ball that just jams him up there. Florida Smash with a three point lead. Big serve from Redmire. Yeah, he's fed off that serve so so well. He's been given opportunities to drive the third, move in quickly, and then close the point with often that single-handed backhand, which for me is uh, just a thing of beauty. Great ball by Padilla Maite. Creative work from Navratil. The hand speed, the power, the poise, and the commentary from Travis Rettenmeyer. He's putting it all on display here as he goes back to the combo that has worked all game. It's a forehand speed up, semi cross court to Bodega Maite, forcing her to slide, which feeds into his one hand backhand. And once he gets a paddle on that, it has been tough for clean cars. Yeah. Padega Maite and Navratil, they're going to have to find something else. Uh, I think I'd love to see her sit in some cross court dink exchanges with Johnson when it is time to redirect over to Rettenmeyer, an instant Ernie threat. Yeah, um, another thing they can do is they can shift and have Navratil go even more so to the left side and have Padega Maite almost cover the middle of the court so that that ball now is on her forehand side, which would be easy for her to redirect towards Georgia Johnson cross court. Mm -hmm. What's happening now, since she's sliding to her right and opening up that area, mm -hmm. she's getting caught and jammed up just a little bit from Red Meyer's curve on that ball. Yeah, no, good point. Let's see what they can do to stop the bleeding here. Oh, and the ref had not finished calling the score. The enthusiasm of wow. young Travis Rettenmeyer just <laughs> overcooking it slightly. So that is a point as well. Great defense. Wow. The Rettenmeyer show continues. Just so much power on that overhead. Buckling Cos did well to return nearly all of these, yeah. but you see he put all of his effort into that last overhead. Former professional tennis player using what he loves to do. Has he got it? Has she got it, sorry? They have called it long. Yeah, that's a ball she was actually able to mm. get a hold of. Just pushed it a little bit deep. 
Bretton Meyer waiting for the score to be called this time. Well played. Great get by Navratil. Still there. Not able to come up with but that last effort as Redmeyer spreads his wings. That get there was phenomenal. If he had got that one and done something meaningful with it, give that man a check. Instead, we have game and match point. Yeah! And he's kept the ball in the court. Wow. Are they going to challenge? No. <laughs> Clean cause thinking about a challenge here. If you look, that ball just catches the corner, and it seemed like everything Redmeyer hit towards that side was either in or garnered a point for their team. What a yeah. performance. Unbelievable stuff. He had the Midas touch. Well played to the Florida Smash. Unbelievable stuff. I tell you, coming into this game, on paper, I thought Frisco Clean Cause had a very good argument to take the match but Smash have pulled it out, well played. So they will be marching on. Uh, we're still in the group stages. Tomorrow we begin some of the more interesting stuff. We'll get into some, some quarters and some semis. Uh, I will be alongside Brandon again tomorrow morning on this court. We look forward to you joining us there. We'll obviously have some uh, more matches going on in Grandstand. Feel free to, you know, watch either one, but we'd love you to join us. Uh, until then, Morgan Evans here alongside Brandon Nsukpong. And uh, enjoy your evening. It's been another wonderful day here in the first leg of Major League Pickleball from Mesa, Arizona. See you soon, everyone.